हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सिल्पराज जांबुलकर अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ टू फेच डेटा इन एसओक्यूएल आल्सो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू रन एसओक्यूएल क्वेरी इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट डीएमएल स्टेटमेंट्स डीएमएल मींस डेटा मैनिपुलेशन लैंग्वेज इन डीएमएल वी हैव दिस फोर ऑपरेशंस इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट एंड अनडिलीट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू इंसर्ट रिकॉर्ड्स इन सेल्फोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट now see this is salesforce developer or dashboard here we have this tab right from this tab also here if i click on new from this also we can enter record into object but in this video we will see how to insert records from the apex program now see for that we have to open our developer console so already i have opened developer console so okay now see so we will open one object so we'll go to open resource so here we'll search object name so college so see college underscore underscore c dot obj this is our object name right so that i am opening name college id and city so i have pressed control button and i have selected fields i am clicking on query so our query is ready now see we'll click on execute button so here we got the records so see in this object there are three records right now what we will do we will insert records into this object from our apex program so see for that what we will do we will go to debug we will click on this open execute anonymous window now see here we will write code to insert record into any object we have to use api name of that object and from where we can get api name of that object c here if we search objects now see we will insert record into our college object right so i am clicking on this so for this college object our api name is this college underscore underscore c as it is custom object we have this underscore underscore c right so this is api name of our object right so we have to use this api name now see so first we will create one record of this object and then we will insert it so how we can insert c college underscore underscore c i am giving some name record is equal to new college underscore underscore c and in round bracket we will mention the values now see so what i want to enter here you can see we will enter value for name college id and city right so these are the field names right name college underscore id underscore underscore c city underscore underscore c so this field names right so we want to enter one record and we will put values for this field names right so what we will do see name is equal to suppose one name i want to enter wce comma college id so see same field name i am using college underscore id underscore underscore c is equal to now see this is number right this is number and that's why we don't have to mention in single code for string we have to mention in single code but as it is number directly we can mention so suppose i am entering 5000 now see one more field will enter city underscore underscore c is equal to suppose i am entering sangli like this so see this record we have created now we want to insert this record into our object right for that purpose we have to use this keyword insert and mention here record name like this so see we have created this record that is variable name right any name we can give it is of type this this is object api name right and here we have entered values for the particular fields right here we are inserting that record right now see suppose if you forget to enter some field name and value here so we can mention here also after this statement likewise also we can mention so see our variable name is record so i am copying here and like this so if we do like this 
still it will work. So here we are not mentioned while creating this variable, but afterwards we have given value for this field, right? So we can do like this also. So better we'll put here only. Okay. So while creating this variable record, here we are putting all the fields and the values, whatever we required. Now see, here we are inserting that record. Keep in mind, whatever the compulsory fields are there, that compulsory field here we have to mention. So we have created this record. Now we are inserting that record. So we'll execute our query. We didn't get any error. Now see, here in filter, if we search DML in capital, we have to type DML. So see, here you can see how many DML statements we have executed. One out of 150. 150 is maximum limit. And out of this maximum limit, how many statements we have executed? One. One in one transaction, right? And how many rows are affected? One. We can update 10,000 rows in one transaction. And here, in this case, we have updated one row, right? We have inserted one row. Now, see. We will check whether it is added or not. Here, we will check. Open the source. College. Open. So, we will select name. College ID, city, query, execute. So, here you can see, we have added this row, right? Previously, there were only three rows. Now, we have added one more row, right? Now, see, here we have added one row in one statement, right? We can add multiple rows from our one statement. How is it possible? We can do it by using list. Let us see. So, we will go to anonymous window. We will comment these statements. By this, we are adding only one record into our object, right? Now, what we will do? See, this is one record, this is second record, and suppose this is third record. Now, see, uh, there's some changes I am doing here. So, suppose this is two and this is three. Now, see, we have three different records, right? Now, we want to add these three different records into our object at a time, and it is possible by using list. Now, see how to add. So, for that purpose, we have to create one list. It is of type this object API name. We will create one list variable. So, any name you can give. I am giving name records is equal to new list object API name and to round brackets. Likewise. So, by this, we have created this list, right? Now, see, in this list variables, we have to add these records. So, see, here we will give name record 1, record 2 and record 3. Now, see, in this variable, we will add record 1 and likewise, we will add record 2 and record 3. So, I am copying this. So, record 2 and record 3. After that, again we have to use insert keyword and here we will mention this list variable. So, see, here I have mentioned this list variable records, insert records. Now, we will execute our code. So, we will click on execute button. Here, we will click on filter and here we will check. We will type DML. Now, here you can see, we have added three rows, right? And we have added three rows by using only one statement, right? By using only one statement. So, that is the advantage of using list. By using one statement only, we are adding multiple records into our object, right? Now, see, what we will do, we will check whether those records are added or not. So, here we will click on refresh grid. Okay. So, here you can see, over these three records, WC, 1, 2, 3, these three records are added into our object, right? And that we have done from the single statement. So, in this way, we can use list and by that, we can add records into our table. So, again, I am opening our anonymous window. Now, see, here we have used keyword insert, right? Same thing we can do by using database class. See, we have one class database and we can call insert method like this. And insert method, we can pass this list variable like this. And if you run our code, same output we will get. See, if I execute this, so 
and see when I'm refreshing it. So those records are repeated, right? Again, we are adding these three records, right? So by using this database class also, we can insert record. Now see by using insert keyword also, we can enter record and by using database class and insert method, we can enter record. What is the difference between this insert keyword and this insert method? So here we can control the execution of query by using this database class. What is the meaning of this? When we are using insert keyword, partial success is not allowed. What is the meaning of this? Partial success is not allowed. Means, see, out of these three records, suppose one record got failed. So in that situation, whole transaction is rolled back. Means, there can be zero records are added or all records are added. But there cannot be partial records added into our object. So that is called as partial success. Partial success is not allowed when we are using keyword insert. Now see, when we are writing like this, at that time also partial success is not allowed. In this case also partial success is not allowed. Now see, if I mention like this and if I am passing through parameter, in that case also partial success is not allowed. Here when I am using keyword false along with this list variable, then partial success is allowed. So what is the meaning of this? If out of this multiple records, if one or two records got failed, still remaining records will get added into our object. So it is possible when we are mentioning keyword false along with this list variable, right? So by using database class, we can manage whether partial success should be allowed or not. So when it is true, partial success is not allowed and when it is false, partial success is allowed. So in this way, we can insert records into our Salesforce object. In next video, we will see how to update records in Salesforce. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.